thing. So basically, like a show will get greenlit, it'll come into the studio, and they'll start putting together leadership for the team. So they'll find like an executive producer, and then that executive producer will find an art director. And those two people are kind of the leadership of the show. They take ownership for like the way the show looks and the concept of the show. And then the show starts getting episodes written. You get a script. A script will get drawn out into storyboards, which are still frames that represent the whole episode of that particular TV show. Those storyboards will then get cut together by an animatic editor, and the animatic editor will make an animatic. So that's a moving picture. Basically, they take those drawn frames and they make the timed show that you'll see in rough and loose drawings. Meanwhile, what's happening is at the script stage, the CG supervisors are getting together and they're looking at the script and the animatics for what needs to get built. So we're identifying characters, we're identifying props, we're identifying sets, and we're asking a lot of questions. We put together a lot of questions and we have meetings where we sit down with the executive producers and the art directors and the writers, and we say, hey, you wrote this into the script, but this thing doesn't really exist. So do you want to see this thing? You know, oftentimes we'll give them like alternatives for some of the stuff that they'll have in there. And, and then we just kind of like iron out what we need to build. So once we have that list of stuff that we need to build, usually an art director has below them like a prop designer, a character designer, and a set designer. And they go through a process where they're making 2D line art for the props, the characters, and the sets. And then that line art becomes colored art. And the line art goes to modelers so that they can make the characters, they can make the props, and they can make the sets. And then the color art goes to the texturing side where they'll be, you know, painting all of the modeled objects once they're modeled. Meanwhile, there is a team of people on the production side. There are production assistants and production coordinators and people that have specific episodes under their jurisdiction and they manage the flow of those assets. So there's a whole team on each show that's dedicated to following up with the art director. Does the art director have the art that they need? Okay, they have the art. Now I'm going to pass it off to the modeler. And they're managing those kind of pipeline steps. So once the assets are built, they, in most cases, get shipped over to a partner studio that does animation for us. And that involves layout. So they'll stage everything in the scene and have very like rough blocking for what the scene looks like and camera direction and stuff. That will come back to us. Somebody like Robert will review that animation, send them notes. That becomes a first animation pass. It'll come back to him again. He'll give them more notes. It comes back as secondary animation. And each step of the process, the animation gets a little more refined and a little better until it's approved. So then it goes into lighting. In most cases, we have characters and sets as models will get lit by us back at Nickelodeon so that the art director can sign off on that because that's basically once you have a lit asset, that's what it will look like in the show. So that is the most important thing to get approved art-wise. So once the animation's approved, those lit assets start to get rendered. They get rendered usually on layers and then those layers are put together by a compositor. Then a comp supervisor starts getting those lit shots back. That basically gets approved. Some people are fixing things behind the scenes. Some people are like adding effects. There's some post-production polish that goes on there. And then basically you have a production final episode. Then there's a very short process where that episode gets uh, color corrected, where we go to a facility that manages color correction and color correct an episode. That episode gets sound mixed. That is a different company. They add all the sound effects, all the Foley, and they mix the final episode. And then at that point, with the color correction and with the final print of the picture and with the sound design, all that stuff is kind of managed by a post-production team at Nickelodeon. So they'll put together each shot as an individual quick time. They'll edit it together and they manage sending it to get sound mixed and sending it to get color corrected and all that stuff and then they get all that stuff back and they put it all together in the final package that goes to the network. We're gonna dive deep into the world of storyboarding. 2D animation pipeline. Four act structure. This is everything when it comes to character design. 
This session is for you all. We want to be as helpful as possible. Now you must acquire a taste for freeform jazz. Okay, SpongeBob, you're ready.